Quran ties the giving of charity with prayer for every able Muslim in the words وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ وَأَعْتُ الزَّكَاةِ Establish prayer and give charity. And this is not an arbitrary amount that you can give to the poor, rather a precise 2.5% of your savings per year if you are eligible. Also, the Quran emphasizes the division of inheritance between heirs using precise fractions. So if someone has 100 bucks, for instance, and you have family, those 100 bucks will have to be fairly divided between family members. So somebody will get one fourth, somebody one sixth, some one eighth, and so on. So immediately we see mathematics embedded within the text of the Quran. We saw how astronomy, geography, geometry were all used in the service of Islam. Now we will see how the greatest mathematician the world has ever seen will revolutionize mathematics by using it in the service of Islam. I'm talking about the inventor of algebra, the one who formalized the subject of mathematics and presented it to the world as the language of the universe, Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khawarizmi. He not only gave us algebra as a separate subject which comes from the name of his book Hisab al-Jabr wal Muqabala, he also gave us the algorithm for it. Algorithm being the Latinized form of his name Al-Khawarizmi. For Al-Khawarizmi, the development of mathematics was an act of worship and service to God or a means that facilitated them. This we see in the introduction to his book where he spends the first few lines praising God and invoking God's salutations upon the beloved Prophet وسلم, before mentioning that one of the primary reasons for him putting together this work was to help Muslims with calculating their zakat or obligatory charity and inheritance amounts, both of which are very integral to an Islamic life. This is somebody who influenced the famous Italian mathematician Fibonacci. Everything from Einstein's famous E equals MC squared to Newtonian physics rests on algebra. Even sophisticated operations like flying a plane is governed by equations that we solve using algebra. Algorithm, on the other hand, forms the basis for computer programming, which has taken over our world. Think about it. The algorithm that runs in your computer or your smartphone as you work finds its origin in the Quranic verse wa aqimu salah wa atu zakah, two words that transformed our world entirely.